Today we are going to tell you why all extroverts are exactly the same. But first, why haven't you subscribed? If you're watching this video, you must like our content, right? So make sure you hit like, you subscribe, and you comment. I know it's your channel, but I'm gonna start this out. Here's my opinion about extroverts. Extroverts are all the same. They're all loud. They're all obnoxious. Okay, this is from an introvert's point of view, right? They invade my space. They can't go like three and a half seconds with silence. They must talk all the time. Like if you're in a car ride with them for three hours, they will talk the entire time. And they just, they always need to be moving up everywhere. They can't just like be, you know? And as an introvert, just let me be for a minute. So that's my thought, is that all extroverts are just basic. They're all the same. There is no nuance to mm, them. Yeah. Well, this is a very common theme with extroverts, and I think the literature and some of the higher level uh, type talk will tell you that with extroverts, what you see is what you get. And I would say that that is true in a sense, but there are four flavors um, that I have come up with, and I think many people would agree with this, that all extroverts are not made the same. Um, you're getting what you see is what you get in a sense, yes, but they are they're different. And the first one I would start with is what we'd call the daydreaming extrovert. Daydreaming extroverts desire to bounce ideas off each other. What if scenarios? What could happen? You can really tell these types because they're very verbal. They're throwing stuff out the wall. They want other people to hear their idea and shoot them shoot their idea down or ideate, they're, very, they're ideators. Um, when you get these daydreaming types together, they can really work themselves up into a frenzy to the point where you're like, all right, guys, all right, are, is, is this going anywhere or what? Like, what are we doing? Are, just, are you guys just saying stuff or is there an action plan in place here? That's exactly what I was gonna say. Yeah. I'm like, that's all well and good and we need those people like in brainstorming sessions, we mm -hmm. need them. However, at a certain point, Start actually doing something. Do, execute, try this idea out. Yeah, it's it's really with these types, it's the contemplation of the idea is where all the action's at. It's the start of an idea. It's not so much the execution of the idea. So these types can be frustrating, the daydreaming extrovert, if people are, are so accustomed to, and now what? So we've talked in other videos that TE user would be like, okay, great. How do we do it? Well, yeah, I mean, do these extroverts, these daydreaming types actually feel like they're accomplishing something? Like they feel like they got something done because they had a two hour long conversation and talked about cool ideas. Like did, did they get something? Do they feel accomplished? See, but that's such a TE user thing. <laughs> like accomplishment, my critique of what you've said is accomplishment is the only thing that matters. Like if something, if there's an end result, that is good. Like good result, good. Even if the result is negative, as long as something is completed. It's better than nothing. Right. Well, you can have that opinion and you're allowed to have it. <laughs> the second type of extrovert is what I call the consensus extrovert. The consensus extrovert actually gets fulfillment from knowing other people, what's going on in their lives, how they're doing, how their pets are, how their parents, or if their parents, how their kids are doing. They have a genuine interest in connecting with other people. So the other type of people that, and Dan and I have discussed is that when they ask you what you're doing this weekend, they're like, I'm really interested to know how your weekend's gonna unfold, or how was your weekend? So. Um, as some types like the INTJ and ICJ think that's disingenuous. These people are like, I need, I get a fulfillment by knowing how you're doing and that can be disingenuous to some people. I think it's disingenuous, but it's really not. So there's the brainstorming types, or like I said, the daydreaming types, and there's the consensus ones that just really wanna know how everyone's doing. Get a general um, contentment from knowing people around them are doing okay. Okay. However, do these types of extroverts, the consensus extroverts, have any identity or is it all based off of making sure other people like them? Yes, yeah, that's a great point because they can get lost in the, I am not qu quite sure what my identity is, but I know that the group of people I'm around, I'm, I fit in there. Um, along with that is they like to be noticed for, or they like to be recognized for being a good mentor, being a confidant, being a coach, 
being someone that you can come to with your problems. They like that recognition when people tell them, um, I really appreciate you spending some time and hearing me out, like being my sounding board. But thus being the sounding board, they can just absorb all the emotional trauma of someone else without actually contemplating what they wanna be or what, what is valuable to them. So the third type of extrovert is the indulgent extrovert. Indulgent extroverts aren't really into the ideation and the brainstorming or necessarily caring about what's going on with other people, what's going on in their lives. This is the like the hedonist, the thrill seeking type. The sensation is the goal. There is no past, there is no future. It is new and novel experiences that really excite the five senses. So these are the people that, you know, they'll go skydiving, but then they'll do something more extreme or they will, um, they'll want a, a job that is fast paced. There's something new all the time. Um, they're interacting with people nonstop. Like the, they seem to have like limitless energy for new experiences. These are the types that I think Deanna and I are the most like opposed to because it's like, it doesn't seem like there would be any time for introspection or reflecting on some of the choices you've made. Yeah, it's like they feel very out of control to me. Like mm -hmm. I'm a lot about, you know, controlling mm -hmm. a certain aspects of my life and these people feel very out of control. Like, like get it together. Like mm -hmm. if you, you might actually feel better if you don't have that ice cream sundae, right? Even though right now you want to be present and just enjoy mm -hmm. the ice cream sundae. Like, and they think I'm crazy because I don't want to be present and I'm worried about, you know, how I'll feel yeah. after I eat the ice cream, you yeah. know, but it's just like, if they just had a little more restraint, they could really, I think, be more successful in life. Yeah. And I think that their response, these indulgent extroverts, their response to people like us would be like, um, you need to, like they'd say, you need to live a little or yeah. relax just once. Like, don't think too far ahead because you're missing out on experience. Like types like like me and Deanna are benefited by new experiences and we can admit it afterwards. Like, mm -hmm. I'm glad you made me do that because I have this new thing now that actually might be beneficial for my mental health or for mm -hmm. a new thing that we can turn into a tradition that we're not afraid of anymore. So when they say, just live a little, we tend to, okay, well, you're living too much and you're, you know, yes. you're too risky in our mind. So the final extroverted type is the commanding extrovert. Commanding extroverts desire to make things happen. They're all about plans coming to fruition. It's about seizing every moment, prioritizing that moment, like compressing time down to like, what are we doing the next minute? After we're done with that, because it will get finished, what are we doing after that? They're not really interested necessarily in other people or how they're doing or even in thrill seeking and sensation. They're just really on, they're focused on velocity and momentum of action. And as you, you see them rolling, like you, once they get rolling, like Deanna can be like this a lot too, is like once she gets on a path of, of movement, it's like, you better get on board. <laughs> I mean, okay, so it's interesting you say that I can be like this because mm -hmm. I was going to say that these types... Um, I relate to the mm -hmm. most. Right. However, I can see how pe others would look at them and say, like, they don't care about people at all. They just, they might walk all over you if you're, like, in your in their way, basically. If you're, you know, if you're in the way of execution, mm -hmm. get out. Yeah, so when you hear, like, this type is an extrovert, you think, oh, extroversion means they get excited by people. But that's, in that sense, I I'm saying that the commanding extrovert is more like we use people for goals but that's the extroverted part where like the energy is the uh. world being organized by the commander and not necessarily we we draw energy from hearing about how they're doing or um necessarily seeing them progress in life which is the um the consensus extrovert would be more interested in that so that's where i would distinguish the differences between the four flavors of extroversion and you can definitely see the ones that are really people oriented. They have a big social group. And then you can see the ones that are more like, I want power and status and I want like things to go my way. And then you can see the ones that are very just, I want to know what new sensations are out there. And I want to experience them with all five senses to the most intense way possible. And then you have the daydreaming extrovert, like I mentioned at the beginning, which is the one that just wants to talk 
brainstorm, get ideas out there, but they're not necessarily commanding in that they don't really care whether or not their ideas come to fruition. Then really, what is the commonality of all of these extroverts? How can like someone tell that they're an extrovert just overall? Well, because their first inclination is to engage the outer world. Like they need feedback. I guess the main thing is I need feedback from the external world to get energy. So it's like whether it's people, whether it's seeing a physical a plan come to fruition, whether it's experiencing by like a tactile um, sensation the world, um, and whether it's just seeing people's feedback where you um, like an idea and they reject it or they approve of it, that's that's another form of social or external feedback. Whereas like an introverted type is going to first engage themselves before they're going to ask themselves the question or they're going to check in with themselves or see if that idea works first before checking it with the outside world. So it's this whole thing between subject and object and that's very Jungian. I don't need to get into it for this video, but where do you engage first? Do you go to the outside world for information or do you check in with yourself and then go to the outside world? So one example of an introverted type would be an INTJ, right? right? And you're wearing your beautiful merch today. Stand yes. up and show the yes. audience. INTJ, you've expressed your artistic side yes. by creating that. You offer that on... It's on Etsy, yes. Um, and that is like I've, I've posted before. That's like my... is That's my extroverted sensing fear function coming out. I want to express the idea of all the types through shirts and posters. I'm looking forward to the ISTJ shirt. Like what are four icons? What, what are you thinking? Oh, it's just robot, 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 robot. That's not, okay. <laughs> that is people other people's it. interpretation of ISTJ. What would, what would an ISTJ enjoy and how would, what icons would they use to express themselves? You'll have to wait till it comes out. I would. And you'll have to pay a full price too. <laughs> All right, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that all extroverts are the same? Do you think there's a bunch of nuance? What do you think? Tell us in the comments. If you like this content, remember to subscribe and like. See you guys next time.